やっておきたい英語長文五百十四。左脳と右脳。We know that the two cerebral hemispheres of the brain have different cognitive capacities. This can lead to asymmetries in behavior and in the way in which we interpret the world. Many studies suggest that the right hemisphere of the brain is more involved in the perception of emotion and in its expression than the left hemisphere of the brain. In relation to language, the right hemisphere of the brain is better at interpreting the emotional tone of voice in speech. A typical experiment illustrates this. It uses some sentences with a happy message like, She won a prize! or The sun is shining! Other sentences are less cheerful. He lost all his money gambling. Or, It is raining very heavily. And yet, other sentences are neutral with no particular emotional content. They are read in different tones of voice. Which are either consistent with the sentence's message or in opposition to it. Although, in principle, to lose money gambling is unpleasant. If it had happened to a great enemy, it might nevertheless induce some sensation of pleasure. And it is possible to read the sentence, He lost all his money gambling, in a cheerful tone of voice. Similarly, Some Californians have an unusual enthusiasm for rain, and it is possible to read the sentence, It is cold and rainy, in a cheerful tone of voice. Subject or ask to categorize the emotional content of the sentence, both in terms of the message that is conveyed and the tone of voice. Two sentences are presented at the same moment. One play to the right ear and one play to the left ear in a listening setup. Since the connections that the left ear makes with the right hemisphere are stronger than the connections the right ear makes with the right hemisphere, any bias towards superior judgments from the left ear is taken as evidence of increased right hemisphere involvement in the task. In this kind of experiment, The left ear is better at making judgments about the tone of voice, whereas the right ear is better at judging verbal content. Brain damaged patients who have sustained injuries to the right hemisphere have difficulty in making such interpretations of emotional mode from speech. Their language and communicative systems appear relatively normal. In terms of being able to say roughly what they want to say. But the content of their speech is often emotionally flat, lacking its previous variation, and modulation is sounding rather dull. In fact, it is suggested that the more creative elements in language are absent. Some of the connotative associations of language may be influenced by the right hemisphere.